Hi everyone, my name is Frank Sukhsuwanathorn or you can call me Frank. And today I am with an SIT alumni who have worked with NASA. So, could you please introduce yourself a little and tell us how it's like working with NASA? Right, my name is Dr. Pirawan Vivatanandon or you can call me Nat. I graduated from mechanical engineering at SIT in 2002. After I graduated from SIT, I did my master's degree and then a PhD from the Netherlands. And then I worked at NASA. I was at NASA Langley Research Center for three years. I was working at the Advanced Materials and Processing Branch. Uh, while I was working there, I was a project leader developing small spacecraft. And after that, I moved to Zurich, Switzerland and work at Ruox Space as a systems engineer, basically leading the technical team to develop mechanisms for spacecraft and satellites. First of all, could you give us uh, your techniques or tips uh, regarding about studying that helps you to be successful as of uh, working nowadays? is first of all you need to um, make sure that you have selected um, the path that you like the most. The reason I said you know uh, the word like the most is because sometimes you don't know exactly what you want, you don't know exactly what you like. But if you are able to steer yourself, you know, putting yourself on the track that you have passion with, you would have so much of courage to move on and you don't give up. And second tip is, when you study, be serious about what you do. Be focused. Concentrate on the study materials. Try to put yourself on the track and stay on the track. If you have doubts or problems, if you don't understand anything, ask questions. There are no stupid questions. You talk to the professors and ask for help. I know that it's hard, but you really have to do it. Okay, so uh, next, uh, I would like to know that how does studying in SIT help with career work and graduate studies? Studying at SIT really helped me on my career, you know, after, right after graduate. Basically, SIT has so much of high quality people, high quality professors that helped me get through with all the difficulties during my study. And this actually um, provide me a very good foundation that helped me jump into my next career. What about in terms of challenging as people usually perceive engineering is for male students only but we both know that it's actually for both male and female but as I say that people usually perceive that do you face any challenge during the time of your study or your work? Uh, from my point of view, the only challenge I have is myself. And I do believe that those challenges also depend on, on anybody. Knowledge in either field, in any kind of field, you know, including engineering, has no gender. Yeah. So it depends on you. If you feel that um, you, know, you are female and you cannot uh, study in, in, in engineering, I think that uh, you are limiting yourself. Uh, back to about studying in SIT, so what is your impressions towards SIT? I'm very impressed by, by professors, by lecturers, by high quality people that I met. I'm also impressed by opportunities that I received from SIT, you know, by meeting with uh, the lecturers, the professors and a lot of people. And also the, um, the friendship that I have, you know, with my classmates as well. That really helped me propel in my next career after graduate. And lastly, I would like to ask you to say something to students who would like to come to study in SIIT. Well, my suggestions are you have opportunities with you already. Take it. Make use of it. As I said, we have so many high quality people. Talk to them. Ask help from them learn from their experience and use those opportunities to push yourself in the next and future career. Thank you very much for your time today and your amazing stories. I believe that myself and my friends and many students would benefit a lot from your experience and your insight. Thank you very much. <laughs>